Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another Gunpla review and today I'm taking a look at this right here. Well, it's not a review actually, it's an unboxing. But anyway, this right here is the Narrative Gundam C Packs, and of course that is from Mobile Suit Gundam NT. I did take a look at the Narrative Gundam A Packs once before, you can check out that review if you like. And once again, this video right here would not be possible without those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you want a Narrative Gundam C Packs of your own, then check out that link down there in the description. Now let's get to this. As usual, one of these unboxing videos, the main point is, if you have any questions that you want answered in the actual review, make sure to drop them in the comments and I'll answer them in the actual review. And of course, we're going to learn a little bit around the box about the Gundam itself. You may or may not have seen Gundam NT already, I still haven't, but either way, the c packs looks pretty damn awesome. Also, I will mention that the Neo Zeon will be coming up very soon, it's just going to take a little while to build. And also, if you want to check out the high-grade Fenix, I also have a review of that one as well, but anyway. Moving along to the first side of the box, right there is what the front and rear of this kit will look like once it's finished. And even though it still has a bit of that unfinished look around the thighs and upper arms, I'm really digging the look of this kit. The bits of psycho frame on it look awesome. Moving over a slight bit more, and here we have a bunch of different information on what says is the actions up here. So here it says we've got wide range of motion and various gimmicks allow the reproduction of powerful actions. The full body psycho frame has been recreated using clear parts, so definitely got itself a bit of a unicorn vibe there. So it seems like this version comes with a beam rifle and says that the beam rifle can be mounted on the waist and the shield can be mounted on the backpack. Once again, just like with the last variant, it's got those cool popping shoulders that gives you that little bit extra when it comes to articulation. And down here, the sliding mechanism in the groin allows for the articulation of the legs to expand. So once again, physically, pretty much all of this is the same as what we saw before, just with some extras. Sliding over some more, we've got some gimmicks and weapons. The stomach and legs have adopted articulation gimmicks that can move according to the form of the MS. So basically, we've got a moving crotch section in there, in the hips, I should say, which allows for more leg movement. And finally, down here, we've got the weapons. And right here, we've got that standard Gundam mecha loadout, which is sword, board, and beam rifle. So that's sabers, shield, and the beam rifle. Flipping around to the other side, and we've got an image there of it up against the narrative version of the Neo Zeon. Again, I can't wait to get that thing built. And we've got a bit of a blurb over here on the left. That's quite a long one, so I'll throw that up on the screen for you to read at your own leisure. But the gist is, in case you're listening to this, not watching this, basically that the C-Pax is the third equipment set that the narrative Gundam got. It wasn't set up to get it, so they're just hastily thrown on as armor. Also, there are a couple of spoilers on there for the movie, so I'm not really gonna go into them too much. Actually, not at all. You can read that yourself if you want, though. Bandai seems to have stopped putting the price on the barcode, so I'll stick the price down here so you'll know exactly how much this cost. And let's bust this thing open. And as usual, from the bottom first, so we can get to that manual. And as well as the manual, we've got a Gundam NT mechanical report. Let's take a look at those. So first off here on the manual is the mecha's specs, in case you're into that sort of thing, right there. Flipping that round to the back and we find out more about it. The information about the narrative Gundam up there is a little bit different from what we saw, so I'll pop that up for you to read. Like I said, this blurb is a little bit different. This talks more about the A packs, B packs, that this is the C packs. Again, it's about it being hastily attached and that it was used as additional armor. But once again, it is up there to read yourself. Next up here, we've got the beam rifle. I'll pop that up again on the screen. The gist is, again, hastily put together from a Jeggins rifle. It adopts a vertical E-pack, so very similar looking to what the Jester would have. Next up there, we've got the beam saber. Not really much here besides that it attaches onto the backpack in that old school Gundam style. Next up then, some info on the psycho frame. It mentions where it's equipped, so that's the shoulder, chest, and other various sections. And of course it mentions that it does resemble the destroy mode of the standard Gundam Unicorn. Next up then we've got the shield, and it says that it's got missiles and a beam cannon on the underside. Lastly then we've got some more of a story blurb right here. And essentially this would be more spoilers, so again I'm not going to read it out loud, but if you want to read it, it's right there on the screen right now. Opening that up to see the parts list, and for the most part we're using everything that we would have seen before, the only thing that has a lot of X's on it there is the polycap runner, but besides that, there's not a lot of waste with this kit. Next up then, let's take a quick look at this Mobile Suit Gundam Mechanical Report. Actually, Mobile Suit Gundam NT Mechanical Report. Okay, this is pretty cool. 
So of course, this right here hasn't been translated like the rest of the box, but it is just a gist about the narrative Gundam itself. Down here, we can see the whole development process. It's based on the Yacht Doga? Really? No, I actually think this is more of psycho frames being used in mobile suits. Next up then, we've got the RX-9A, which is the Apex. Once again, that is just a narrative Gundam with a huge mobile armor-esque armor. Pretty damn awesome. If you haven't seen my review of that, you can check that out. Next then is the B packs, which you probably all know already is P Bandai only. So that is a bit of a disappointment and it doesn't even include the narrative Gundam. So you just get the backpack there that you can see and then you'd need to buy another narrative Gundam just to use it. So that's a bit crappy and hopefully I will be taking a look at that, but still you're either gonna have to leave your A packs or C packs to the side in order to use that. Lastly there, well it might be last, seems like there might be some more is the C packs which we're looking at right now. On the next page then, we've got the DJ and the Gustav Karl. But anyway, that is a pretty awesome picture of narrative right there. But anyway, let's take a quick blast through the runners. So the first of the runners we have in here is runner A1. This is a lot of the white armor parts from the legs, crotch, head, and this is the same as what we saw before, so narrative Gundam 2018. Runner A2 then is just a repeat of some of the parts of runner A1. Runner B, and we've got a lot of the parts of what would be the inner frame of the Gundam. We've got the hands on there too, some of the thighs and the crotch. Once again, from last year's narrative Gundam Apex. Runner B2 then, just some repeat parts of the arms and the legs. Runner C then is a multicolored runner in clear, red, and nice light gray, as well as the V-fin down there. Once again, just what we would have seen before with the Apex. Next up, runner D, and one we've seen before. This is the feet and backpack, all in a dark navy blue. So now getting into the new stuff, and it is worth noting that on here we've got the beam sabers. So these are going to be a little bit harder and a little bit different looking to your standard beam sabers. That's pretty cool. On top of that, we've got all the psycho frame parts. And it does just say up here, Bandai Spirits 2018 Narrative Gundam, like with the other kits. So I guess they made all of these parts, including the Apex, at the same time. So that's a bit interesting. F2 right here is just a part of the cockpit. Once again, we saw this before. So there is Runner G, and this is all the white armor parts that lets you use the new parts that came on the runner with all the psycho frame. So there's a whole lot going on here. New shoulders, new crotch the full shield right there, which you can see on the underside is not color accurate, but all in all, looking pretty cool. The last of the standard runners in here then is runner H. Again, modified parts for using with a psycho frame, and besides that, on there, we've got that beam rifle. So the last of the things we have in here is this set of polycaps. Damn dog hair. As I was saying, polycaps from 2018. Lastly in here then we've got the included stickers, that's two different colors of eyes, as well as standard little reflecty ones, those green ones, two, three, and four, for on the various cameras and lenses. So this is good. Not seeing too many correcting stickers is always a good thing, but at the same time, we did see on the underside of that shield that not everything this time around is going to be color accurate. But anyway, that is it for the quick unboxing. Once again, I want you guys to let me know what you want to see in the review. Any comparisons? Any particular details, let me know. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you want one of your own, link down there in the description. And as always, I'll see you next time.